Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about an unusual, uh, unfortunate phenomenon called refeeding syndrome. What this is, is uh, an unusual phenomenon that happens about four days <clears throat> after restarting nutrition in someone who is severely uh, malnourished, uh, someone who's been starved, a prisoner of war, concentration camp. Uh, nowadays, it seems like the, cl the classic... Uh, test question stem is you know like a, a homeless person who's been going through some tough times and gets brought in and starts eating again and what happens is about four days after they start a restart I should say nutrition after being severely malnourished they have drastic drops in some electrolytes in their bloodstream I'll get into in one second but these drastic drops can lead to some uh, Disturbances and metabolic and, uh, abnormalities that prevent, um, you know, normal cardiac function, normal muscular function, etc. Um, pump is the uh, mnemonic that I use for this, and that's because pump is phosphate, magnesium, and then potassium, which I know is K, but the P helps remember potassium. Um, so why does this happen? It's because these people have been so severely malnourished, they've lost a lot of skeletal muscle, their glycogen is down, their fats are zero in their body. And so when you give that person nutrition again, all those energy sources are trying to collect their payments of nutrition they need to survive, right? So your body starts to make fat, starts to make ATP, starts to make skeletal muscle. And because of that, the levels of these electrolytes in your bloodstream get harvested by the body. They just get sucked up right away. And so the serum electrolytes go way down, way too low. Um, the way that you can manage this, there's a lot of different ways, but basically the way that you manage it is you need to just decrease uh, their nutrition. And if you maintain them in some sort of uh, half starvation state and gradually reintroduce um, uh, nutrition, then they'll avoid refeeding the syndrome. While you're dropping their nutrition, you also want to um, you know, replete lights. So this can be done parenterally or by giving uh, vitamin supplementation, including you know thiamine and folate and things like that. Um, how do you do that? Some people will say 10 kcals per day, uh, 10 kcals per kilogram per day. Some people will say uh, no more than 500 kcals per day in terms of nutrition. But in any case, you want to monitor these people and admit them to the ICU and uh, correct their electrolyte abnormalities before something bad happens to their heart or brain or something. And that's refeeding syndrome.